Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a self-driving warthog. This is actually really simple to do and I will show you how to do it in just one moment. Now to demonstrate, hopping inside this warthog that I've already set up, I can go drive around however I please. I can stop, I can go, and I can go in any direction I want to. But let's say that there's some enemies up ahead, I can hop into the turret and the warthog will continue going all by itself. I can shoot at them and then take over control allowing me to drive. Hopping out, the warthog will stop and it will not continue onward. It's simple to do and it's a really helpful thing. This would allow you to maybe go off by yourself in a warthog and actually be effective, unlike many who steal warthogs and don't do anything with them. Now to do this, first thing you need is any warthog. What you need to do is go to its boundaries and set that to being a box. I set it to show just so I can see it right now and set all these so I can see them too. I recommend setting it to something around these dimensions right here so that all the spots in the car are available. Then I'll turn off show just so that people don't see it. Heading down to scripting, we only need one single script and we need to set it so that it will check and see if anything is inside of the boundary. Now we need to set this to continuous and make it repeating at 0 0.10. The action is gonna be to make it have velocity. So heading to velocity, we wanna set this to 90 and this to negative two. Now once we've done that, we are actually all good to go. Now that I've done this, I can hop inside of the warthog and you'll see I'm able to go anywhere I please, but then once I hop in the turret, it will continue going. The way that this actually works is really pretty self-explanatory, but for those who need help, Velocity is just setting it so that it moves, we set the direction that's moving to forward, and the negative two is just to make sure that it stays on the ground and isn't trying to hover or anything like that. Though, if you wanted to create a vehicle that did something like that, you could definitely do that. There are a lot of options here, and maybe a few minigame options. That's always the first thing that comes to my mind. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, don't forget to like the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.